Well, here we are, end of December here in uh, southern Indiana. It's late muzzleloader season, and I think it's the last weekend uh, that you can kill a buck with a muzzleloader. And it's also archery season here in southern Indiana. I'm with Eric Allmeyer, my buddy, uh, one of my co-workers, and he still has a buck tag and a doe tag, this, or two doe tags, and I still have a doe tag. So I'm gonna have the bow with me today. He's gonna have a muzzleloader, and we're gonna go on some deer drives see what we can do maybe even get in a deer stand later this afternoon on a private farm possibly so uh eric's had some bad luck this year got a couple chances at bucks and just didn't get uh didn't make it happen so we'll be back at it today hopefully we get it done hopefully we get some footage doing it it's kind of a crazy wind like upwards of 20 miles per hour not sure on direction yet i have to check but we're gonna give it our best shot see what happens Well, we, uh, we jumped a few deer on our deer drive and learned quite a bit, but we didn't have any luck, so now we got the stands and we're heading in. Gonna drop back into a, a private cornfield. Can't see if we can't catch some uh, doe or bucks coming out this evening feeding. See if we can't get it done, so I'll see you in the deer stand. Welcome back. Got Eric here with me. We're in the tree. And uh, it was painful, I'm not gonna lie, it's a big tree. I struggled to get up it a little bit, so we got in here a little bit slower than I would have liked. But we have high winds, and I know the deer didn't hear us, and we used the wind to our advantage, so I know they didn't smell us. So the plan is for them to come out of the, sort of the northwest straight to us, give us about a hundred yard shot with a muzzleloader and if one decides to come right into us I'll let one fly with the bow <clears throat> we'll see what Eric can do maybe he gets it done we have a lot of overcast and just it's really dark and gloomy a lot of deer sign so we're gonna sit tight and get quiet here and wait for something to happen quartered so you can shoot a little to the left of his shoulder. You gotta take your time. Yep. Smoke the neck. Yes, dude, he's a stud. Go down. Go down. Go down. He's down. Eric, he is a freaking stud. Dude, you just killed a freaking oh, stud. Oh, crap. Oh. Oh, my lord, dude. Eric. Dude, I got this branch right here. And I had to sit a lot lower because that branch was right in my view of him. Dude. I was shaking like a freaking leaf, dude. We got it done. <laughs> dude. breathe that is amazing give us a little 
summary of, I mean, we were just hanging out. I didn't even see him. He came, I mean, he came right out. I didn't, he, he just said, I mean, he was dead tracking on us. And like he said, I, I put it right on him, but we got this branch right here. And I had to sit under that branch because we were watching him. Gosh dang, them, my crosshairs were back and forth. I could barely stay steady. Holy crap. Dude, it don't get any better than that. Oh, gosh. Oh. I ain't cold no more, I can tell you that. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> well, me and Eric are stepping out here into this cornfield. We're getting ready to take a look at this second deer. Second. Second deer. His first one last year was a spike. Big upgrade for him, so. We're gonna get out here real quick, check it out, throw a tag on it, get it to the woods. We're gonna try to stay out of this uh, cornfield as much as possible. We wanna keep our scent out of here. We've had, a, what, eight to 20 does out here, and really we wanna try to get in here and put some does down on video with Bo. So let's get a first look at him real quick. Easy tracking job. Oh wow, dude, he's got some mass. Dude, he's got some mass, dude. Holy cow. a great buck. I mean, this is, look at that crap. Eric, what do you think? Couldn't ask for anything more for my second deer. <laughs> we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's throw a tag on him and uh, let's, uh, let's get him to the woods and get a better look at him and get them gutted and cleaned up and get them out of these woods. Well guys, here's a better look. Um, he, uh, he's my second buck, like Ryan was saying. I'm more than happy with him. Uh, we set up on a late season uh, soup food source here on uh, some property and uh, I, I couldn't be happier, I was excited. He's definitely going to be a good deer for me. Uh, I want to thank Team Sebo Ryan for taking me out and getting it done. Stay tuned for this hunt to come up on the YouTube channel. Uh, follow Team Sebo and Southern Indiana Boys Outdoor on Instagram.